Hi, this is Lakshmi. Today I am going to explain you how a OLE DB destination will work with the triggers in this um, SQL server. So now I have created a table by the, with the name student details table with the with the column names as student ID, student name, varchar, student branch and three columns and again with this data I am what I am doing I am select star into student details. I am entering uh, like I am entering the student details uh, one table information into the student details table for this I have created like see if you see I have already created both the tables but now we don't have any data over here so and the next thing is I have created a trigger for that whenever we insert into this in the student details table student details one table the data will be insert like the same data will be inserted into the students table like first what I have created here what I have created in this table whenever I student one de details table the data which is entered here is uh, automatically the data will be triggered into this student details table so how it will work so this is the trigger what I have created here create trigger trigger name on student details one table after insert it has to begin like insert into like a students details table it is going to enter so this is how uh, a trigger is created now in the visual studio SSIS I have created a new package and for that first data flow task I am drag and dropping here and uh, I am double click here and uh, source is my flat file like what is the source I have like this is the flat file source with a student ID student name and branch these are these three are the column names and this is the data which I am going to enter into students details one table so for this flat file source I am entering right click over here I am I am creating a flat file connection manager new flat file connection manager and I am browsing this one as I have student information in, on my desktop okay and if you see here we will see, see student ID student name and branch and this is the data which we have so okay and okay so then the next thing is what is the destination I am taking OLEDB destination from here to here connecting right click edit new DB connection I already have I am removing this and I am going to create a new one so how it will be I will show you like I have come to my SQL server for which it has to connect so this is this control C I copied the server name and I have given the server name mine is SQL server authentication I am giving username and password I am selecting the database as sorry student warehouse and test connection succeeded and ok now it's okay here it is if you see here table or view we have to select table or view and which table I'm going student details one table so okay mappings I have to give mappings here the branch I have a like I have only branch okay Mm, see what is this truncation maker my, my means here the current branch is 50 of data band, but in the this one is I have given varchar as uh, 25 only that's why it's showing this uh, truncate, truncation may occur so, oh, so nothing will happen now I'm going to start see the, all the data is transferred into this table now if you will see here 
see what i have entered the data into student details one table only please uh, uh, check this one the, and now if i select these two and execute see student details and student details one both the tables like uh, trigger trigger has occurred here right trigger or when student details table one where, where i have written like see here student details one it will enter and uh, after inserting here it has the data should enter into the student details uh, tab, uh, table that is how the data is in entered and the here trigger action has occurred so this is how uh, other thing is uh, i'll explain you here again i am uh, deleting deleting all the data from the two tables and execute if you see here now no data will be there okay then the next thing again the same thing i am going to run and uh, here what i have done is fla flat file source columns OLEDB. Mm, here, here DB connection data access mode. Here we have some four or like this table view or fast load. In this action, if we select fast load, see what we did. The data is table is identified. Okay. Now, if I see, okay, what does it do? If I run this now, let me show you if i see all the data is transferred but when here you come and execute this the data is present only in student details one means here the trigger the trigger action has not been uh, occurred so sometimes if you want the data that a trigger should not work in like that in some situations depending upon the end user uh, the, this uh, functionality can we can choose it so there are some uh, like if you if you go and see here see table fast load if with the table name or view name also it will it will uh, trigger action will occur sql command this fast load only it that that uh, trigger action will not occur so this is how whenever if you want to use um, uh, triggers in sas pack uh, in sql server that action to be considered how it will does uh, that one i have explained here thank you thank you for listening if you like my video please subscribe and share my video